So I was diagnosed with diabetes four years ago, and never during that time have I not eaten carbs for one day. There are carbohydrates in basically any food. Fruit, cookies, pancakes. To combat any carbs diabetics eat, we have to take insulin. However, with no carbs, you should have to take no insulin. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we just woke up and it is time to eat breakfast. Now for breakfast, it's definitely the easiest meal to eat no carbs for. We have eggs and bacon lined up, both great foods to eat for diabetics. All meats have no carbs whatsoever. Eggs, of course, have no carbs as well. So we are all good for breakfast. But first, let's go ahead and check our blood sugar and make sure that it is good for the day to come. All right, guys, we got 220 here. Not the best. Hopefully, it can come down since we aren't eating anything. This is all an experiment, so we shall see. 220 to start the morning, though. Okay, so here we are with meal number one. We have eggs, bacon, and water as my drink. Basically gonna be my drink this whole time, but we'll see how it is. Hopefully I did well cooking, and I will see you guys for lunch. Okay, so here comes the big test. See what our blood sugar is after eating no carbs for breakfast. Hopefully it went down a bit just because we didn't have anything, but let's go ahead and see. Okay, so our blood sugar went up just a bit to 265. Definitely not an ideal range, but it kind of shows that even after not eating carbs, it's still going to go up. Hopefully we can change that during lunch when we're going to have a nice healthy salad. Just cut myself a little bit, but it's all the good work of having no carbs. It will not stop bleeding. All bandaged up. Alright guys, here is lunch. We got spinach, cucumber, and bacon. Of course, spinach and cucumber do have very few carbs. Not really enough to justify insulin for. So we're just going to call it zero and go on with the video. Speaking of the video, I better get that like sacrificing my fingers for this video. So I'm going to recover and I will see you guys at dinner. Alright, so we are back with our final meal of the day, dinner. We're going to be rocking some chicken and broccoli. Broccoli is, has about the lowest carbs of any vegetable out there. So we're counting it as zero just as we did for lunch. Let's go ahead and see how our blood sugar is doing after lunch though. Okay, so we actually went down to 207. This is really interesting. It seems like the dot phenomenon got me to lunch, which made it rise, but then it's gonna even out over dinner as we haven't had anything. Let's go ahead and cook it up and hope that blood sugar goes below 200. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the final meal of the day, dinner. We are gonna be eating a nice chicken breast along with some broccoli. Basically as good as you can ask for. Gotta admit, I'm kinda hungry for some carbs, but this is the last meal of the day. We're gonna get through it without eating any carbs whatsoever. I'll see you guys at my bedtime night check, see how the blood sugar is, and we'll talk about what I've learned today. 
All right, so it is time for bed. Let's go ahead and see what our final blood sugar is for the day. So we went up a bit to 253, but considering where we started this morning, we stayed pretty steady throughout the day. We started a bit lower, we probably would have been good overall. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a recap on this entire day. Okay, so it is the next day. Let's go ahead and talk about overall view of the day, plus what we learned along the way. So I started the day with a pretty high blood sugar. 220 wasn't that great. But the thing is, it stayed constant throughout the entire day. So if I started at 120 instead, I would have been between 100 and 160 the entire day. So all in all, it looks like having no carbs is actually going to help you a lot, just as long as you take your long-lasting insulin. All in all, it really seemed like it stayed steady overall. I would definitely recommend trying this at least one point in your life just to see what happens and maybe shake it up a bit from your high carb meals you always eat so that's gonna wrap it up for the video let's go ahead and cue that outro